Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? It's Big Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing. Now, I've been a boxing fan for years and what annoys me more than anything, and if you're a proper boxing fan or a boxing person, it will annoy you as well. Referees and judges do you know what I mean now as far as I'm concerned referees judges and sanctioning bodies and promoters they all seem to put the spoke in don't they they all like to bend the rules and anybody mentioning this this bending of the rules is out of order or the class does a nut job or or anything like that for example that last night with Charlie Edwards were a shocker to be honest it was shocking nobody stood up to the WBC did they nobody the referee gave the gave the fight to uh, the opponent the Mexican kid and before you know where you are it's been took away from him he's like a world champion for two minutes it's all wrong they did the same thing with Buster Douglas and Mike Tyson but the WBC relented didn't they but the WBC I now know why they call it we be crooks shocking wasn't it Now, I'm going to give you my top 15 fights that I've actually watched myself and I feel that the decisions were not very good. So they don't need to be in any order, I'm just going to give you 15 fights. And I'm either going to blame the referee or the judges, but we all know that referees and judges are controlled by promoters and sanctioning bodies, don't we? Especially after seeing that last night. Now, like I said, I'm going to give you 15 fights. Just going down from 15 to 1, but they can, they're all as bad as each other. The first one, now this is in my opinion by the way, this is in my opinion. Yui Fury against Parker, I felt that Yui Fury won the fight. People can say, yeah but Yui were on back foot. But I felt he won the fight, so I think that were the down to the judges. I don't. I'm not going to blame the referee for that. I think it were judges that spoiled that night, and you were still without a world title. And Joseph Parker, he ended up a world champion, but he's not beat a champion at the time because the belt was vacant. Now, that's the first one that springs to mind. That was the judge's fault. The second one, in 14th, is one of the worst ones ever. Richard Steele. Now, Richard Steele stopped Meldrick Taylor against Julio Cesar Chavez now that were a referee's decision two seconds left and he's talking to him now if the fighter's talking to Richard Steele and he's saying he's looked away by the time he waves in Chavez it doesn't really matter does it because he's not going to get to him in two seconds it's like one and two that's it 
So that for me is either incompetence or corruption. And um, whenever I hear the name Taylor, I always think about uh, Meldrick Taylor. And then I think about Jermaine Taylor in the 12th round against Carl Froch. So I just think things could have been different for them. But whereas Jermaine Taylor, well, there were 14 seconds stopped when he lost against Froch, weren't there? Taylor's, there were two seconds, but he was stood up, wasn't he? Taylor were all over the place, weren't he? Taking punches, but Jermaine Taylor, but. Meldrick Taylor against Chevez. I thought the referee spoiled that fight and that were a robbery. <laughs> Ray Leonard against Marvin Hagler. The judges spoiled that one. I thought Marvin Hagler forced the fight. Yeah, Ray Leonard were only fighting for 30 seconds of every round, but what about the other 2 minutes 30? Well, he's running for his life. I thought Marvin Hagler won that fight, clearly. They all gave it to Ray Leonard because, well, it was Ray Leonard, wasn't he? A bit like they gave Ali the uh, two of the fights against Ken Norton out of the three, whereas I thought he lost all three. I just felt that Ken Norton were Ali's bogeyman. Now, but they gave him the other two decisions because he were Ali, and you know when the Ali show were in town, it, it brought a lot of money and a lot of. A lot of revenue into boxing. Now, twelve on my list, and like I said, this 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 list that I've got here, it's not in order of how bad the robbers are. There's just fifteen, just fifteen fights that I've picked out. Tyson Fury against Wilder. When I first watched it, you could say that Tyson Fury were lucky to get a draw. Some of the rounds were really, really close, and. A lot of people seem to be screaming robbery, so who knows, maybe I'm wrong on this, but fighting on back foot, getting dropped twice away from home as a challenger, I can see where that's a draw, but after watching it with the sound turned down, I could get Fury by a round. It was a very close fight, but if you get it by a round and you don't get the decision, well... It's a robbery, isn't it? If it's a robbery by 11 rounds or 1, it's still a robbery, isn't it? I mean, what is a robbery? It's where you you think you've won and you know you've won, and they don't give it you. Now, that were the judges. I mean, we've had, so far, we've had judges, ref, judges, judges. It's just judges mainly all the time, isn't it? But they're controlled by sanctioning bodies and promoters, aren't they? Now, 11th robbery Byron Mitchell against Sven Ocker jeez that was shocking that that's a shocker the Sven Ocker run continues doesn't it they call him the Phantom don't they I mean do you know why they call him the Phantom because nobody ever sees him hit anybody he's that fast they call him the Phantom I've never seen him hit anybody yet Sven Ocker all he does is just this, this shadowy figure that just seems to pick wins upon points in Germany. So, Byron Mitchell against Sven Ocker. The tenth one, Carl Froch against Mikhail Kessler. Well, Carl Froch thought the referee was awful in that fight, Roger Tillerman. It was his first... Sorry, he was a judge in the fight, sorry. Roger Milliman, Roger Tillerman, I thought he was awful. Uh, really, really awful. But the referee in the fight, Frotch dropped Kessler with a shot. Kessler went tumbling backwards. I mean, what what else do you need? What what more do you need for a knockdown? Unbelievable. I'm not just saying it because I'm a Frotch fan. I just feel that was shocking judging now the scorecards in the Andre Ward fight were a lot closer than the Kessler fight that's how bad it were but it is what it is isn't it that was another Sourland show uh, then we move on to uh, Joe Calzaghe against Robin Reed the referee took a point off Robin Reed in the 8th round 
Uh, are you alright there, Rocky? Scratching your, nut, your nuts. Are you okay? Good kiss. Uh, Robin Reed against Carl Zaggy. Robin Reed lost a, had a point took off him. Uh, it make these these sort of things make all difference in fight. Although they didn't make much difference on the scorecards because it was a split decision and all three judges had it the same score by five points. But I just felt that Robin Reed did enough. Compubox gave it gave, had him winning eight of the rounds. And add him overall, landing more shots the, and a better percentage rate. But Joe Carl's like he throws a lot of shots, doesn't he? But a lot of them shots, according to Robin, were just being blocked. I felt it were a robbery. I had Robin made a clear winner, same as Glenn McCrory did. So I blame the referee and the judges in that fight. But it were a WBO fight, wasn't it, in Newcastle, Frank Warren show. Now, McCloskey against Amir Khan. Well, that's got to be the worst f show I've ever seen for a world title fight stopped with a cut. I've had bigger cuts shaving. Thought it was shocking. Uh, I really, really did. I thought it was shocking. Uh, it's just one of them things, isn't it? I felt for Paul McCloskey. I mean, his plan was to take Amir Khan into deep water. And he never got his momentum back after that. And, you know, Amir Khan rolled into town, didn't he? We golden boy and everything's stacked in their favour. So I kind of felt for him. But, uh, but yeah, so on to the seventh one, down to seven. Carl Thompson against Johnny Nelson. Well, that's probably ranks up there with the Meldrick Taylor stoppage against Chevez, Julio Cesar Chevez. In fact, Johnny Nelson against Carl Thompson is the worst stoppage I've ever seen in a world title fight. It was shocking. Carl Thompson never got over it. Never got over that. And he will not speak to Johnny Nelson for years. And Johnny Nelson, he never even got his belt, did he, for 14 years. Johnny Nelson were never given his belt for 14 years. That's probably because the WBO were that embarrassed that they classed it as a title fight. It was that bad. It really, really, really was that bad. And Johnny Nelson flukes. A world title, fluked it, and he's been dining out on it ever since. That's the bottom line. That is the bottom line. The referee in the Johnny Nelson fight against Carl Thompson was a window licker. Now, Ricky Burns against Beltram, Ray Beltram. Oh my God! That's where I first decided that Britain is the new Germany. That was really, really bad. Ricky Burns looked embarrassed. How he ended up keeping his belt after that fight, I don't know. But Eddie Earn to come out at the end and say, I thought it could have gone either way, that usually means that they thought, felt their guy lost. But, you know, Burns kept his belt on the night, didn't he? Well, that, that was a bad decision as well. Manny Pacquiao against Timothy Bradley. Shocking. Really, 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 really shocking. Really shocking. Uh, what, what can you say? I mean, they had five WBO judges watch the fight afterwards and they all gave it to Manny Pacquiao but it still didn't alter the fact that Tim Bradley ended up making millions and millions from luck and not talent although I do, I do say he's not a bad fighter but he was built up to be this superhuman guy wasn't he but trust me Tim Bradley were dealt a fantastic hand that night like Joshua were with the Charlie Martin fight but it is what it is isn't it now 
the next one I'm going to mention is the Ward Kovalev. Both fights I thought were terrible. The first fight I had Kovalev clearly winning. Clearly winning the first fight. I don't know what the judges were on, but if it's a tight if it's a tight fight against a, a gold medal Olympian from America fighting in America, you are not getting a decision if you're from Europe. I thought Kovalev were robbed in the first fight because of the judges. On the second fight, I don't know what that referee was on in the second fight, but that was shocking, and I mean shocking. Uh, Number three, I'm going to go for Matthew Macklin against Felix Sturm. I thought that was a shocker. I really felt for Matthew Macklin that night. I had, a bet, I had a bet on him because I felt that at the time, Matthew Macklin were red hot and he would tip for massive things. And he just didn't get the decision, Macklin, and I really, really felt for him, but... That's boxing, isn't it? But I think that Macklin, after he lost that fight, I think I think he more or less emptied tank. He couldn't have put any any more into that fight. I had him a clear winner, eight rounds to four. I don't know what the judges were looking at, but Matthew Macklin, in my opinion, was a clear winner of that fight. Uh, Arthur Abraham against Edison Miranda won. Oh my God! What can we say about that? Arthur Abraham against Edison Miranda. Well, the tale of Abraham Miranda goes like this: Miranda broke Abraham's jaw earlier on. The referee goes to stop the fight, and Willie Sourland, in his wisdom, sits up from his VIP seat next to his supermodel wife, which is, who's a, half his age. He's not known as Big Willie Sowland for note, by the way, because he's got to have something going for him, for him, for him to pull that bird, hasn't he? But anyway, getting back to uh, Abraham Miranda, I felt that Abraham should have accepted the decision he looked like he had but the promoter Willie Sowland didn't he told the referee Randy Newman no no you carry on he overruled the ref the referee then proceeded to referee the fight for for X amount of rounds after was it 9 or 10 rounds or whatever and took 5 points during the rounds off Miranda so we get down to the points at the end and Miranda's lost five points but he's not being disqualified. I mean they've just they've broke about they've broke every rule in the book, so why don't they just disqualify Miranda? They didn't need to, did they, when the judges are already in the pocket? The judges are in in the Sowland's pocket, weren't they? They gave the fight to Abraham and by a clear margin, uh, even even taking into account the five points that they took off, they kept just giving round after round to uh, Abraham. Plus, the referee were taking a point off as well. I've never seen anything like it. And the Americans were that incensed that Abraham had to go out and fight in America for a rematch. It was that bad. But uh, what can you do? But. Uh, what can you do, but that's another Sowerland one. Not, not to mention all the other ones, the Swenocki ones, with Glenn Johnson and all them others. I mean, it was going on for years in Germany, but like I said, Britain's the new Germany. And I'm going to finish off with Robin Reed against Svenocka. I remember Duke McKenzie commentating on that fight, saying that in all his years in boxing, amateur professional, as a trainer, a manager, a fighter, and just being a pundit, he'd never seen anything like it. The, it, it, it were a shocking disgrace from the referee, Roger Tillerman. What they did to Robin Reed that night, what they did to Robin Reed that night in Germany was nothing short of scandalous. Now, I want to point out that if you want to watch the Reed Ock fight, just put Robin Reed versus Sven Ocker, YouTube, and go and watch for yourselves. It's on the BBC, it's it's really, really bad, and Robin took it well, actually, but it's bad.
It's really, really, really bad. Um, and I feel for Robin Reed because he won the WBC, he won the IBO, and he was robbed against the WBO, and he was robbed in the WBA and the IBF. He could have had the clean sweep, Robin Reed, all five belts, but robbed. Robbed, robbed, robbed. And like I said, I feel for him, but the 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 first three, Robin Reed Ocker, Abraham Miranda, and Matthew Macklin against Felix Sturm. Go and watch them and let me know what you think. Let me know what you think. You're the boxing hardcore fans. Let me know if I if I'm right on all these fifteen fights that I've just told you about there. So peace out. Keep on trucking. Keep supporting boxing. It's a fantastic sport. Shout out to Castle Conservatories and Climate Cool Air Conditioning, both of Doncaster. All right. Thank you very much.